What is going on you guys? I hope you're all having an amazing day. In today's video, we're gonna be working on the Rocket Bunny kit. So today's the day and without wasting any more time, let's just jump right into it. Of course, the first thing we have to do is put back the spacers on. So we gotta get those spacers on. I got the fender flares mocked up. I got the wheel spacers on. I took off the front bumper. I'll be putting it on a little bit later on. But uh, everything's exposed already and we're ready to be cutting right here. We're gonna cut towards this line all the way across. I believe like up to here. Um, and while I was mocking this up, I, I just realized right now, as, can you guys tell like from here from the side, like it's perfectly right here on the tire. But once it starts coming over here, it starts cutting into the tire. So that's gonna become a problem because as you guys can tell right here once i start hitting bumps it's gonna start eating the fender flare so what i'm thinking is we're gonna have to cut somewhere from right here we're gonna have to cut all the way across from here and then just extend it out and put some more fiberglass that way it's uh it holds out <laughs> So I got this piece cut out already to the fender and the bumper and I just mocked up the bumper real quick and it does look like it this one's sitting pretty good um, the only thing is that there's a there's a gap down here I don't know if you guys are able to tell but there's a gap down there that we need to fill in and then the other side same gap that's down here um, just this one needs to be sanded a little bit more so what I'm thinking is I'm, I, I can't fiberglass it like this because we need to fiberglass the bottom of this we need to fiberglass from here to the actual fender and in order to do that i cannot put i can't put the fiberglass like this because i think it's gonna like fall down so i think i'm gonna remove the fenders and then flip them upside down and then just uh fiberglass that piece right here uh kind of the same thing how we did it on how we did it right here on the sides it's gonna be the same thing it's just this time it's gonna be down here i don't usually go out this late at night to the place where the animals go but baby i'm here and i'm watching you So I got these pieces of fiberglass already on both sides. One's a little bit bigger than the other one because this one still needs a little bit more trimming down. Um, but before we actually start putting the fenders back onto the car, what we have to do now, well, what I want to do now, if you guys remember, we put these things on the fenders. We put these latches on here in order to hold on to um, the fender lining that we made, the fiberglass fender lining that we just covered with rubberized coating. Well, this piece used to attach to the fender and I'm starting to get tired of that because every single time I need to take off my fender, I need to keep detaching it from the bottom and these nuts just keep on breaking off of where it's supposed to be held onto here. Um, so what I'm planning on doing is just getting this bracket right here that I bought at uh, right here at my local hardware store. Um, just get this bracket right here Put it somewhere right here and then connect the, the fender lining to that. That way this fender lining that we made has no connection 
to the fender and we can remove the fender without having to have screws on here. So I got this piece attached already with this bracket that we bought and then these bolts right here that attach this piece and just a couple nuts, two nuts right there that this piece is going to be held on to. Um, so now we're just going to wait for this to dry a little bit because I put some JB Weld over the top. That way that piece, the top piece can be held down and if we ever need to take it off, this the bolt is going to be held in place and we just need to unscrew the nut. So right now we're just going to wait for it to dry and then we'll start putting the fenders back on. I don't usually go out this late at night the place where the animals go But baby, I'm here and I'm watching you move There's just one thing you should know Girl, you are my fire So we got the bottom piece all bonded already as you guys know it was fiberglass uh, we just had to put some bondo do some body work just to smooth it out a little bit and make it perfect uh, so when we put the bumper cover it's going to line up perfect here perfect structure all that we have to do next is just uh, uh, carve it out right here same thing how it is right here that way we can put a clico pin here and we can start filling in right there because as you guys can tell there used to be play right here but now if i were to touch it there's like no play at all as you guys can tell it's like perfectly flush against the fender down here um so there's just a small little space right here but i mean once you put a screw here it's gonna tighten that up right there i mean it's just a small little tiny little space all we need to focus on is getting this part done because once we get this part done we can move on to the bumper cover and making all that fit all this part right here just needs to be body work so that can be done later behind camera but this piece is what we're really concerned about in this video and then so since that's done um I, I went ahead already and taped up all here and I went ahead and just waxed it already and the wax that I used was this McGuire's uh, Maximum Mold Release Wax um, and I used that one. I already put it on here so that way when I just apply the bondo here hopefully the bondo pulls away with the, with the fender flare. <laughs> So it's completely dry now. I'm going to try and separate it. See, hopefully it does separate. So let's take off the clicko pins. Try and be careful with it. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. So now all we have to do is just sign, sand this piece down because uh, the back piece is already flat and that's exactly where it sits on the bumper, on, on the fender. So we just got to trim this down right here and we should be good. It should fit perfectly right here so i got this piece already completely trimmed down and i already just put some primer on it and as you guys can tell it looks freaking beautiful look at that perfectly flush as you guys can tell look at that Woo. so that's completely done now what we're going to move over to is we're going to start mocking up the the bumper cover the reason why we're putting the bumper cover first is because i know i told you guys we were going to cut here um and then extend it but i felt like it's better to put the bumper cover on and once we put the bumper cover on uh, we can cut it all one single piece and extend the whole piece as one so that's going to be a lot easier to do than uh, just doing this section and then extending it and then doing the bumper cover and extending it and the first thing we have to do is cut this tab that's back here because it's not allowing it to sit flush right there so let's get that cut out it looks like it probably not gonna fit I feel like we are going to have to cut it here and extend it and then we're going to have to put this part um, stick to the original plan that we actually had 
um because now that i'm looking at it right now it looks like it's not going to fit exactly like this i think we have to expand it uh push this out a little bit more then we can actually uh make it fit So I just got done cutting the line and as you guys can tell, that's how it used to sit and then I can extend it all the way out here. So I got it all trimmed down as you guys can see and if you guys can tell right here, this, pa this space right here is a lot thicker than down here. As you guys can tell, it starts getting smaller and smaller and smaller as we go down and the reason for that is because I used this piece of paper, um, it has a little curve to it and what I did was I just ran this paper, let me show you guys a little bit better, I just ran this paper all along here as you guys can tell and just made sure that the paper would at least touch the edge of here or at least go over it so as you guys can tell look it's touching all the way around and as you guys can tell it's like perfectly on this piece right here and that's what i want because when we lay the fiberglass over here the fiberglass is going to lay over like that and it's going to create that perfect uh smooth transition from here to here <laughs> There's been a lot of changes that have been done to this since that video. Um, and what I mean by, if you guys remember on when I updated you guys, there was a long, there was like a line right here, the body line that was right here. Um, I ended up just cutting that off. I mean, well, sanding it down. It, if I would have kept the body line, it would have kept the body line all the way up here. And it doesn't make sense to keep a body line right here that it's so close to right here. So what I thought I should do was I just sanded that body line down as you guys can tell and it's just one continuous motion all the way across Let's see if you guys are able to tell um, so this piece is completely done everything is like smoothened out finished up something else that I did um, was it extended all the way down here so I had to do a little bit more sanding to keep that little arc a little bit better let me show you guys from back here as you guys can tell it fits the tire perfectly now um, it's just it looks a little bit uneven there because of the shade the shading of the shadow, but it's perfectly even I don't have the spacers on right now But if I were to put the spacers on it would look completely even so now we can move over to the bumper covers and For the bumper covers what we have to do Well, what I need to do right now is I got to remove these canards that are right here And the reason for that is because if I were to put this on here I Need to fit that on there and it's hitting the canards right there So I need to fit it right there in order for us to put it somewhere right here and I want to move this piece up like that. I want to move it like that. So we got to do some cutting to this piece in order to make it fit flush up here. I don't usually go out this late at night To the place where the animals go But baby, I'm here and I'm watching you move There's just one thing you should know Girl, you are my fire So I got the bumper cover completely trimmed down now. As you guys can tell, there's just a small little space, but we're going to be filling that in with fiberglass because um, I wanted this piece right here to fit as close as possible as to there to where the other bolt point's going to go. So we're just going to fill that little gap right there with uh, fiberglass and then make it all smooth. And we should be good right here. As you guys can tell, it looks perfectly aligned all the way down. Um, over here, we're going to have to pick it up a little bit, but we still need to do what we did back here. What we did back here and what we did underneath here, we had to do the same thing to this thing. That way it can be pushed out a little bit. Because right here, it's a little sinking in a little bit. Over here, like, gets on top. So we need to do the same thing in order to push it out a little bit. And then what I'm thinking about doing on the bottom is I'm going to cut it here all the way down. And I'm going to extend this part all the way down here up to where the R3 uh, bumper lip fits. 
I'm gonna extend that all the way down and what I'm thinking about doing with this little piece right here I'm going to extend this all the way down over here and I'm gonna cover all this down here so all this is gonna be covered up uh, so it's gonna be all the way pointing all the way down so we've ran into a little issue uh, working on the bumper covers these are the bumper covers um, as you guys can tell they look pretty identical um, after we started cutting it they do not fit exactly identical you see how this one this one we had to cut here and there in order for this one to fit and this one is the the driver's side and this one we cut the whole entire thing and this one was cut perfectly in order to fit the left side now the thing that I did not like was that this would fit there perfectly as you guys can tell it fits on top of there uh, perfectly but you see the type of gap that's there and you see how much I would have to fill in over here um, when I actually had the actual fender flare on there and I tried putting this in here I already put the Clico pin on here and if you guys can tell here to here it's parallel and then on this side it's the same thing this to here is parallel but it's moved more this way so those two bumper pieces are completely different and I honestly after looking at it um, with the actual fender flares on there I did not like how it looked so I'm changing the bumper covers up a little bit and I'm gonna be making my own bumper covers and the ones that I'm gonna be trying to make are gonna be the V2 um, from the Rocket Bunny V2 the ones that go they go all the way down but instead of just stopping there I'm gonna go over the RS3 bumper lip as well so that's what I'm planning on doing next and I already uh, I went online to fiberglass.com and I bought some modeling clay um, so I'm gonna be modeling claying all this piece right here until I get it how I want it to look and once I get it to how I want it to look uh, we're just gonna fiberglass right over of course put some PVA um, and then fiberglass all over it and it's gonna look like exactly like the piece we're gonna want it because we can still shape that clay and we can shape it to the way that I want it to look so it's a little setback a little bit but it's gonna turn out a little bit better with the modeling clay because I can just adjust it to my liking so I think I'm gonna leave this video how it is right now I think it's like about 20 minutes long and even though it might seem like we didn't make any progress. It was a lot of progress. It was a lot of minor little details. It was a lot of minor little details that have been done to make the actual fender flares, these fender flares, the ones that go here, the ones that are over there, to make them actually fit. So it was a lot of work just getting those fit, but they're actually already done. The only thing left to do is the bumper covers, which we're gonna be doing once we actually get the, um, the modeling clay. It just takes a lot of time and a lot of patience to do it. So for all you guys that have been patient with me, Thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out and embrace yourselves.